Hey there, fellow Green Thumbs! Today, I'm super excited to take you on an amazing journey of growing your very own watermelons right in your backyard. Trust me, there's nothing more satisfying than biting into a juicy, sweet watermelon that you nurtured from a tiny seed. First things first, let's talk seeds. You'll want to get your hands on some high-quality organic watermelon seeds. Why organic? Well, because they're free from harmful chemicals and they grow into healthier, tastier fruits. You can easily find these seeds online or at your local gardening store. Got your seeds? Awesome. Now it's time to start them indoors. Fill some seed starting trays with a good quality seed starting mix. Plant your seeds about half an inch deep and keep the soil moist but not waterlogged. Place your trays in a warm sunny spot or undergrow lights. In about seven, ten days, you'll start to see those little green shoots popping up. Once your seedlings have a couple of true leaves, they're ready for the great outdoors. But hold on, don't just plop them into the ground. You need to harden them off first. Start by placing them outside for a few hours a day, gradually increasing the time they spend outdoors over a week. This will help them adjust to the outdoor conditions. OK, now for the fun part, planting. Choose a sunny spot in your garden with well-draining soil. Watermelons love the sun, so make sure they get at least six, eight hours of sunlight daily. Dig holes about two, three feet apart to give each plant plenty of room to grow. Add some compost or well-rotted manure to the soil to give your plants a nutrient boost. Carefully transplant your seedlings into the holes and water them well. As your watermelon plants grow, they'll start to sprawl and produce beautiful big leaves. Keep the soil consistently moist, but be careful not to overwater. Mulching around the plants can help retain moisture and keep weeds at bay. And don't forget to feed them with a balanced fertilizer every few weeks. Now, let's talk about pests and diseases. While watermelons are generally pretty hardy, they can fall victim to aphids, cucumber beetles, and powdery mildew. Keep an eye on your plants and treat any problems early with organic solutions like neem oil or insecticidal soap. Fast forward a few months and you'll start to see those gorgeous watermelons developing. How do you know when they're ready to harvest? Look for a creamy yellow spot on the underside of the fruit where it touches the ground. Give it a thump, and if it sounds hollow, it's ready. Harvest your watermelons by cutting them off the vine with a sharp knife, and voila! You've got yourself some homegrown watermelons. Share them with friends and family, or even sell them at your local farmer's market. Either way, you're in for a treat. Thanks for joining me on this watermelon growing adventure. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, comment below with your gardening tips, and don't forget to subscribe for more gardening goodness. Happy gardening.